Milfs of Reddit, what were some of the most desperate advances you've had to deal with from your son's friends? When I was in my junior year of high school, I decided to spend Christmas Eve with my girlfriend and her family at their grandmother's farmhouse. Their grandmother was a short, frail, bohemian woman who dressed like Steve Jobs and always smelled like dust and cabernet. Her silver hair was wispy and long and she kind of reminded me of a thin Gandalf. Right off the bat she was flirtatious with me, squeezing my arms and telling my girlfriend how your last boyfriend was such a stick. Upgrade. And although it was awkward, I of course didn't feel physically intimidated until it happened. After dinner, I decided to help by doing the dishes in the kitchen while others were lounging in the front room. As I'm washing, I feel a pair of hands creep around my stomach from behind, thinking they were my girlfriends. I laughed and said hey you. I was met with the single most guttural hello I'd ever heard. I mean it was as though the woman had drowned her vocal cords in Zinfandel and Camel Reds. I looked down and saw the spotted, wrinkly hands and was frozen in shock. Having not said anything, she probably assumed she had the okay, and proceeded to move her hand down to my butt, to which I said please never do that again and left the kitchen. I went to the front room and excused myself for the night, and drove home. I never felt physical intimidation from her, but the whole situation was so off-putting, being that I was 16 years old and she was somewhere around 73. She also gave me intense, lengthy lectures on the proper way to take my then girlfriend's virginity. Not graphic. Just weird. I'm not sure that this qualifies, but, here goes. When I was 45, I guess I hit my peak. We went to the pool in Vegas. Men kept hitting on me. One time I went to the bathroom, which was about 200 feet away from the pool, behind a row of trimmed hedges. Seven men in their 20s or so hit on me during the short trip to and from the bathroom. One young man was pretty insistent. He said that his hotel room was right there on the property. We could be back in 7 minutes, before my husband even noticed that I was gone. I started laughing so uproariously. I wasn't going to go no matter the offer but come one. If you are going to try to seduce me, you could do better than that. I said no thank you. If I was going to fool around. He would have to do better than that. It would take us 3 minutes to get up to his room. I would certainly hope for more than a minute of pleasure. I don't consider myself to be a MILF. But I have had my son's friends try and make moves on me before. I am younger, had my first kid in my early 20s, and I'm exotic. Colombian immigrant in a small southern town. I think those play more of a role than my actual looks. Just something different than what the teen boys here are used to. The weirdest one was when my boys had a couple of friends over to watch a movie a couple of years ago. I believe they were 14 and 12 at the time. I was watching the movie with them and one of the boys, 14 years old, put his arm around me. I didn't want to make a big deal about it and embarrass him or anything. So I tried to subtly get out of the situation. I yawned and I told the group that I was going up to bed and he stood up and started following me. I asked what he was doing and he said he thought I wanted him to come up to bed with me. I explained that I was sorry for the confusion, but that I absolutely did not want him to come up to bed with me. He apologized and returned back to the media room to watch the movie with the rest of the boys. My oldest is a senior in high school now and has been asked by his friends if they can take me to prom if they can't find another date. I wouldn't say I'm a MILF. But two of my daughter's friends have hit on me and her boyfriend of three years tried to kiss me. The most desperate was the boyfriend. We had gone on vacation for my daughter's 21st birthday to a small town with hot springs. While my daughter, her boyfriend and her friends camped nearby. I chose to stay in a hotel to give the young people their privacy. We all went together for a soak one evening but my daughter wasn't feeling well and stayed at the campground. After the soak. The boyfriend was quite drunk so I gave him a ride back to the campsite. When we arrived, he started professing his undying love for me, said my name three times in his most serious attempt at a sexy voice and leaned in for a kiss. He never saw my fist, but felt it land squarely in his sternum. It made for an awkward morning. He confessed to my daughter the next day and she laughed hysterically at his ridiculousness. They broke up not long after. Every moderately attractive high school teacher has been hit on. Currently, a senior that graduated last year is patiently waiting to turn 21 so he and I can go have a beer. 
I'm sure in his mind this will lead to a weekend of world 6 where I show him the hidden secrets of the Kama Sutra. I'm just interested to see if anything will have changed by then. Also, one of my son's friends once told me he'd like to experience an older woman and then stared at me. When my brother graduated from high school, he had a big party at our house. My mom would walk around periodically to make sure things weren't getting too ridiculous. At one point, this kid very openly hit on my mom and told her she was hotter than any girl there. Obviously my mom noped out of that mess and was thoroughly creeped out. I never get any advances from my son's friends. That's why I have to post on porn sites that I'm in your area and ready to duck now. I once lost track of time while staring at my friend's girlfriend's mom's boobs. Curse her rockin' tits. Mills of Reddit. Please write some jack off material for me I've completely desensitized myself to Brazilian fart midgets bestiality and need something new and exciting to get off tonight before I cry myself to sleep. Till no one's a milf on Reddit. My mom is a milf. Once my mom and I were walking and some guy said to me in front of my mom. Girl you are cute but your mom is smoking hot. She is 20 years older than me and hotter. Great. Plot twist. Cougars of Reddit. What are some of the most desperate advances you've made on your son's friends? Waiting for the first response to this which starts as a milf my opinion. My husband is 26 and I am 49. My husband's friend is also 26 and he used to walk around in his underwear looking at me while he fluffed his package. He lived with us. Then one night he licked the whole length of a chalupa while staring at me intently. I have never laughed so hard in my life. Reverse situation for me when I was 17. Had my friend's mom corner me in a bathroom asking me to stay the night. Said he wouldn't know if I snuck in her room. I'm torn because I ducking wish I had. But at the time I knew if my friend caught me, we wouldn't be friends anymore. I say I wish I would have because we still aren't friends anymore. But I just couldn't out of respect. She was in her early 40s and ducking hot. It, MILFs who don't think they are MILFs providing stories which prove they are MILFs. If a MILF is a MILF, she and her kids know it. Girls talk about the being the daughter of a MILF struggle all the time. Everything from guy friends telling them all the time they would have a hard time choosing between her or her mom. To jokingly not wanting boys to meet their mom because they will like her more. I'm just like, throws their hands up, DILFs get no love. Though few and far between. They exist too. My mom is 4'11 and fairly young looking and petite, ew, for a woman her age I guess. She's got like a Asian wife syndrome going on, only if you were Navajo. Makes it awkward where my dad looks like he could be her dad when they're out in public. Not as much of a problem now than it was several years ago. I remember my older brother relaying a story to us about how his ex-girlfriend got angry with him because he saw him hugging some itch after school. Boy did she feel stupid once he told her his mom was picking him up from school. Coming to HS basketball games. High school boys would hit on her and be surprised to find she had 5 kids and her husband was the basketball coach. Weird and gross encounter I had with this was in 9th grade. Girl I had a minor crush on because huge boobs. Thin waist and chocolate skin appeal. Commented to me after meeting my family your mom is really attractive. Like I'd have a six with her if I were a lesbian. Okay. Why would you tell me that? And gross. Can't really remember any specific desperate instances though. Just cringe inducing moments. One of my younger brother's friends who was like. 12 at the time did the V finger sign and licking the middle thing when her back was turned but caught it out of the corner of her eye and boy did she have no problem tearing him a new asshole and she was the type of mom to call other people's moms to tell them about their children's bad behavior. Fun times. I'm not a milf but that's it actually. Just not a milf. Just like everyone else here I'm a fat bearded redditor. My mom was a milf I guess. She was also a super tease. She would and still does dance around in her undies slapping her double D's. This was also when my brother's friends were over even though she pretended they weren't. She would leave the bathroom door open a little when she was in the bathtub and she'd make ridiculous comments like asking my brother's friend to trim her bush. My brother's friends would come over and sing Stacy's mom but it would be my brother's name mom has got it going on. There was one guy living next door and another guy living on the other side of us that were in the same grade. 
They used to steal my mom's underwear and bras and she knew it and didn't care. After the one guy graduated high school and my parents got divorced, he told her he would take care of her. Which he did by plowing the driveway and mowing the lawn. If he ever did get laid I will never know. I think the more appropriate question is, Redditors, what were the most desperate advances you've done to MILFs? It I don't think I'm a MILF, but my son's best friend would drag his balls through a desert of broken glass just to hear me far through a walkie talkie. My kid isn't old enough to have horny friends, but I did hear it from time to time when I was in the abyss of dating. It's amusing, but sometimes cringy. A few occasions it goes back to some weird fetish they have for pregnant chicks and how it sucks I didn't know you while you were pregnant lol. I don't have any desperate advances but my mom does from the high school friends I have. Those were weird but my mom is young and people would always comment on that. It didn't really bug me. TBH. I was more looking forward to being the hot older sister. But I'm 21 years older than my youngest sibling. Yay me. Can I tell the reverse story? My ex-husband when we were first married. His ex fiance and her family went to our church. Her family was very close to my in-laws at one time. All having kids about the same age. 22. 17. 15. One morning. We were sitting in the doctor's office with the TV on in the waiting room. When the anchor announced a woman in our town was arrested for being caught in a car having sex with a 14 year old. Then the mugshot appeared. It was the ex fiancés mother. Whom would have been my husband's mother in law. I almost spit out my coffee. She's doing 10 years in woman's correctional. Sometimes the milfs like the attention. I don't think a lot of milfs are on reddit. So I had this girlfriend named Stacy. I'd hesitate to call myself a milf. But most of my son's friends will do the struggle to maintain eye contact thing we are all familiar with. The worst. Most blatant violation any of them committed was when they were all in 8th grade. So their hormones were wild and prevalent. I had just got done making them 3 trays of pizza bagels. And as I dropped them off in the game room. They were playing Crash Bandicoot. I was heading out and told them to let me know if they needed anything else. One of the cheeky little bastards straight up gives me the up and down and says. Maybe later. After the kids have gone to bed, the entire room went quiet. At first I started to get angry, but upon briefly considering the crowd, I just started laughing. I maintained eye contact with the jokester and moved towards him, laughing a little crazily the whole time. I could see the fear in his eyes. When I was about arm's length from him, I let loose one last laugh and then shot a thick cloud of black exhaust from my smoke stack. And that little blip of back pressure was enough to cause my tits to become encased in metal and shoot off my chest. Striking the child in the face. To this day, none of them can watch Maximum Overdrive without having to explain to their hideous girlfriends why they have two Robiners. I feel like you have to be 40 and older to be a MILF so I don't think I count since I'm in my 20s. I do get hit on by a lot of teenage boys though because I look like I belong in their freshman math class or something. It's very awkward. Obligatory not a MILF, yet. But in high school all of my boyfriends were completely obsessed with my mom and a lot of them would bring her it, flowers, etc. So they'd show up with two bouquets, etc. I found pics of my mom on one of their laptops one time. Pulled I guess off of Facebook. I told my mom when we broke up and she laughed. But it was super weird at the time to have to be like, hey. Uh, is that my ducking mom in your spank bank? Bro. I try to warn guys I date now that I have a hot mom. She's still hot and I'm 28 now. Lucky for me I came out looking just like her so odds are in my favor I'll look good when I'm like 50 plus. It's cracking me up how women are like I'm not a milf. But. But I get it. It feels weird to say people want to duck you. I'm in my 30s and went back to school at a community college. My favorite has been when these young guys walk me to my car. Sometimes they'll ask me if they can smoke me out. Sometimes they just ask for my opinion on things. I can't say I mind. Except I'm never getting high at school again. Everyone found that too amusing. Including the professor who I was older than. My mom was a MILF. 
Being the daughter of a MILF isn't easy. When this particular event happened she had just been dumped by a wealthy man she really liked. And he had doubled as a retirement plan so she was really devastated. She let me have a party at 19 years old at her big nice house. Her judgement was off. Word got out and like 50 people showed up. It was supposed to be 10 people tops. Guys kept coming up to me joking they were going to duck my mom tonight. Never thought it would happen. I was wrong. She got drunk. Stupid drunk and took first a 21 year old guy to her bedroom and gave him a blowjob. He wasn't just any other guy. He was my childhood best friend's brother who she had known since he was in elementary school. She wasn't done yet. She then takes the guy she knew I thought was gorgeous to her room. And when I went to the bathroom the next morning I spotted him. Laying naked in her bed. At 35 years old walking my dog. A 10 year old left his friends and followed me on his bike. He offered Messix. Which I attempted to politely decline. It was hard to avoid laughing at him and told him the request was inappropriate and illegal. He kept following me. Insisted he is very good at it. And finally asked to just put it in my butt. Disclaimer. Not a mother. Just motherish age. My kid is still way too young to have creepy friends but my little brother is 15 and his friends haven't learned volume control yet so that gives me my hints that I'm a milf shudders at the thought of 15 year old boys. Anyway. Creepiest was when I was pregnant and my little brother's friend ran up and started rubbing my bump and telling me how he loved pregnant woman and the things he would do to me. My brother punched the creepy little duck and escorted him out. Switched for me. I'm a dude who works with kids of different age groups. There have actually been a number of peers of my clients who would eye me up or would just find dumb reasons to try to talk to me. Damn. Why can't I have this kind of success with women my age or older? There were a few cute teachers though. NSFW I have one with maybe an exception or two to the question. Friend's crazy mother. She was nasty. I was 26. Imagine she was late 40s early 50s okay not a great I was a youngster in high school kid story. But it was a friend's mom. One night I had been drinking. Called to see if my buddy was home. He says no. Acting weird as always yet had a little I'm ready for sexy time in her voice. I'm drunk. Seriously. Only way I had the balls to do this with her being nasty as duck. Me horny as duck and just shyness in general. So I ask her what she is up to. This was 94 so I can't quote exactly. Along the lines of come over and find out. Okay now. I go to the door. Living room is dark. I knock. She calls me in. There she is. Laying in a nightgown on the couch. Now when I say crazy, it's a family thing. The grandmom is at the steps and all she says is, I knew you all would get together. And goes upstairs. How she knew? She didn't. Just bat it crazy. Southern drawl. She and her now deceased husband moved the gang. Three other grandsons. Daughter, up to Philly Burb sometime in the late 80s. Not sure. Mississippi? Makes sense. I became friends with the son. Realizing that he was old enough to grow into the hillbillyish person he was. So there were differences. I was weird to him I imagine. Although I didn't have a spare car tire in my living room. Okay. Back to my MILF. So I go to the couch and we start making out. No time wasted. I'm feeling her nasty titties. Rubbing her pussy. We do the flip. And what happened next I'll never understand. She gave me the most amazing blowjob I ever had to that point. Maybe to this day. It wasn't just a blowjob. She was doing other amazing things I didn't even know what. I imagine if there was a move in Seinfeld. That itch was doing it. I couldn't see her. Was playing with her pussy. As horny and drunk I was no way was I eating that pussy. Anyway. Whatever she's doing was incredible. And I ended blowing a load which I imagine she swallowed. I don't know. There was no mess. But it didn't feel it in her mouth when I exploded. But it was mind blowing. She was a master. Then it hit me. Guilt. What in the name of all holy duck did I do? Now I'm up and ready to leave. Disgusted as duck but guess what? She's still in a making out mood. Now I felt like I was in hell. So disgusted in an eating dog it kind of way. When she finally released me from her death grip she hinted about how we could do this again. LSD would have had to been involved if that were the case. Actually coke would have done the job but it never happened again. Next day at work I feel like a man who was gang raped by a group of guys. I was disgusted to my very core. 
The day was unbearable. I go home to my apt after work and not 5 minutes I get a bang. 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 On my door. Look out the window. Her son. Holy duck. It was an aggressive bang. He looked hyper. I was crapping my pants. Not necessarily that he could beat the it out of me. But he had that. My mom sucked your D on the Dan low retard strength. That was my thinking. He comes in. Starts chatting. We order a pizza. Thank god he doesn't know. So I casually asked him what he did last night. He says. Went to bed early. Was tired and had to get up for work. I asked him with a gulp what time and he says 8. WTF. I was there around 10. His mom lied. Just to be clear his room is in his mom's basement. Now I know he knows. Which adds extra special nuttiness to the family. We weren't close. Close. But enough that I knew about the weirdness but didn't realize the scope. But still. He's cool. I'll hang out with people of different whatever. I'm not better than anyone. Just saying because I had other friends who questioned why I hung out with him. I told them I guess I attract weirdos. Short at them for being that way. By the way. Mom. Friend dog mom never mention it again. 49 now. See him in passing here and there. But that's about it. To add to how he's probably not the only one with the weird family. I later tell my younger. 3 years. Brother of mine and he laughs so hard. He tells me of all the times we sat and drank at his house. He thought about watching around after hoping he could hit it. Sorry. This story may or may not suck. My writing is horrible. If someone could make it better I would be honored. A lot of good. Graphics x semen metaphors were probably missed out on. Duck the commas. Periods. Paragraphs and whatever. TL. Doctor friend's mother gave me an amazing blow job when I was drunk and he was supposedly not home. Didn't get caught. I was 26 she was late 40s early 50s and nasty. Still. Friend's mom. So there. Edit. Of course. Edit too. Thanks for all the kind comments for my first storytelling attempt. Plus the positive cancer comments. Appreciate that. One of my friends in high school called my married mom at work and asked her out. Oh my god was she ever pissed off. So opposite side of this. Capital I. Being the horny 17 year old I was. Had a friend whose mom was an absolute knockout. I'm talking everything your horny teenage brain could ever whack it to. A one night. My friend was staying over at my house and his mom needed to get my number for emergency purposes. This was about a week before I turned 18. Capital I. At first jokingly. Attempt to flirt with her and show my young bravado. Then it worked. About two weeks after I turned 18. She picked me up in her car. My buddy had no idea and still to this day doesn't. Took me to this motel. She was in an unhappy marriage. And I proceeded to live out every milf hungry teenage boy's dream. For about 5 minutes. I have never learned so much in 5 minutes in all my life and because of the experience I feel like I'm a much better lay. If you have a chance to sleep with an older woman. I highly recommend it.